Welcome, time for some art fun. Today, we're going to go around this arts and crafts fair that I went to with my best friend here in Colorado. It happens once a year in October, and usually she has a booth where she sells these beautiful quilts that she hand makes. This thing is enormous, and even when I come and help her with her booth, I never get to just walk around and look at everything. And so that's what I'm doing today. I'm just taking you with me. That's her, and she's gorgeous. Um, and I got something here. I'm actually going to give you a tour of what I got at the end. But look how cool these, like, Aspen little dishes are. I mean, there were so many really creative pieces of pottery at this place, but I'm just going to put on some music and let you look around with me. And then at the end, I'll give you a tour of what I got. Oh, again, I loved her little Aspen patterns in this very, we spent so much time in this first booth. It was kind of silly. All right, here we go.
Next door to this arts and crafts fair is a free museum and it has those chickens and a bunch of other farm animals, but it had this gorgeous display of this amazing artist. The information is right at the beginning of this little segment. And I just wanted to give you a slow tour of this little baby section of this museum because I was stunned by every single piece on the wall here. It was a lot bigger of a display, but I just wanted to take you through the beginning part because I was with my friend and we were on our way to lunch and I didn't want to take up all of our time, but I just couldn't walk away without showing you this. I really hope these super vibrant colors are coming across because it was a huge part of the sort of face punch that I got from this gorgeous display. I loved the mix of sort of animal elements. Some of the eyes had fur around them. I don't know. It was just stunning and it made me want to look up that artist and find out more. So here's the first thing I got it was actually this free. It's kind of an art print, but it's that person's business card. And I want to look her up because she had really cool stickers. I'm just taking out all the business cards of all the ones that I took because I really loved any of the stores that I stopped or booths that I stopped at that I took a business card for. These are the two patterns for the two bandanas that I got for my dog, Tuffy. And obviously there will be pictures of him modeling these later on. They're double-sided. I loved that these little eyeballs were glow in the dark. <laughs> They're so cute. And then this one just had the cutest Halloween pattern, fall pattern ever. All of these little animals are so cute. And one of them reminded me of Tuffy. And of course it had owls. So I had to get it. And it's also reversible. So the non-Halloween side you could use all year round. And this is the card for that company. The lady who was working there who founded this was so nice. She was so cool. She used to be a vet tech and she told me all about how she designs these and I really loved it. The bag, the mushroom bag that I'm using was from this one. And I love this bag. So the inside is actually made of the same material that hospital sheets uh, were made of and uh, reusable diapers. So you can actually use this as a garbage can or as a garbage bag, even in your bathroom. And that's my plan for it. But I also used it to hang on my <laughs> um, bike when I was coming home with all this stuff. Those earrings were free when I got a hat. The hat's in the car, so you won't see it, but it's just a plain old green baseball hat that has like a wiggle away fabric that I really loved. And I'm obsessed with that mushroom pattern, by the way. It's really inspiring me to want to get in my little art studio and paint some mushrooms. This is who I got the next thing from. This was the first booth that we went to where we spent so much time with those Aspen bowls and all the Aspen patterns. And I saw this bowl and I know my husband thinks it's an ashtray, but it's obviously not an ashtray. It's a water cup for my art studio. I'll use it with gouache and with watercolor. She said I could use it with acrylic too, but I probably won't just because it's so fancy. <laughs> but I just love these colors and I love everything about this and I just wanted it in my studio and I didn't want to leave that booth without something to take home from it because everything was striking me and I thought the little aspen cups were a little too small but this one would be perfect for swishing water around so that was my haul here's little tough in his little outfit <laughs> I think he looks so cute and he didn't try to get it off he didn't shake it off he just let it sit there so I highly enjoyed going to that, finally actually getting to experience it myself instead of just working a booth and just seeing a couple of things when I went to and from the bathroom working the booth. And I hope you enjoyed coming with me. If you did, please remember to leave a like, check if you're subscribed, and if you're not subscribed, I would so appreciate it if you would subscribe and comment with what you would have gotten. Until next time, remember, create something cute.